What happens when you combine Iron Maiden and Slayer? Well, the result is Gamma Bomb. What's up, Metalheads? Lord Metal Blade here, and welcome back to Lord Metal Reviews. In the last episode, I talked about Of Sulfur's latest release. So for today, I'm going to be making an album review of the 2009 Earache Records release of Tales from the Grave in Space by Gamma Bomb. Now, for those of you who do not know who this band is, they are a thrash metal band formed in Northern Ireland. And this is actually their debut album. So, I thought I would just talk about this album and how awesome it is. Like I said, they're a thrash metal band formed in Ireland, and listening to this band for the very first time, I honestly believe this was Iron Maiden and Slayer's baby. Like, Iron Maiden and Slayer got together, had a child, the result was Gamma Bomb. Because it's got the fast, aggressive thrashiness of Slayer, and the vocals remind me very much of Iron Maiden. Maybe even a little bit of Judas Priest as well. And just look at that album artwork. Look how sick that looks. Look, you got, a, you got an astronaut here turning into a skeleton. You got these tentacle things here up in a space satellite. It just looks awesome. It's a little cartoony maybe, but I love it. And right from the first track, Slam Anthem, you hear the sound of a guitar plugging into an amp and you are just bombarded with drum beats, thrash riffs, and intense and high vocals. This album honestly is a masterpiece to me. And a lot of bands, they can do that. They can release an album, their very first album, and that will be your very favorite album from that band. And this one is my all-time favorite. But when it comes to the songs, my favorite song is definitely New Eliminators of Atlantis BC. Not saying the other songs are bad, it's just with that song, it's fast, aggressive, the thrashiness, the guitar riffs are awesome. I love that song, you know. When it comes to the new thrash bands that have been coming out in the later 2000s, you know, like you have Warbringer, Municipal Waste, Havoc, Toxic Holocaust, Suicidal Angels. A lot of people don't really talk about Gamma Bomb, which is honestly a crime because this band is highly underrated. This album actually got put back on Spotify. I don't know what happened, but a lot of Earache record bands have been putting their albums back on Spotify, which is awesome. And I've been listening to this one as well. And I might be doing more Earache record album reviews in the future. But... I highly suggest you guys give this album a chance because just when you start listening with Slam Anthem, you gotta listen to the rest of the song like Poltergeist, you know, We Respect You, you know, those are great songs and you know, this album came out back in 2009, almost 13 years ago. So if you want to consider this album a classic album, that's completely fine, but it still came out in the later 2000s. So, I definitely would pick, would put this up there with the modern thrash bands. Like, it, this album is, this album is so good, I honestly put it up there with like, Among the Living by Anthrax, Random Blood by Slayer, Ride the Lightning by Metallica. In my opinion, this album is just that good, you know. Not many bands can put out a debut and have it be in their top 10 or top 5 albums, but honestly, Tales from the Grave in Space is one of those albums to me. It's just, it's an album that I can't stop listening to. The songs, they're catchy, they're fast. The drum beats are awesome. The vocals are high pitched and I love that. It's just, it's one of those albums I cannot get out of my head. I highly suggest you go listen to this album. Give this band a chance, you know. The Irishmen have definitely delivered a debut album to remember. Gamma Bomb is honestly one of those underrated bands that needs more attention. And I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that do know Gamma Bomb and love them, but it's just, it's honestly the riffs, the drum beat, the bass tones, the solos. You know, when it comes to the solos on this album, you know, they're very memorable, you know. Whenever you listen to one, you just, you just, you can't help but air guitar it. It's just that incredible of an album. The vocals are really high-pitched, and I know a lot of people don't really like that. But when it comes to Gamma Bomb here, they really deliver with the solos. But anyway, that's all I have time to say for with this review. Let me know in the comments in the below what you think of this album. 
give it a, give it a chance. You know, you can find it on YouTube. You can find it on Spotify. Any type of music sharing, wherever you like to find it, give Gamma Bomb a chance, and you will not be disappointed. So thank you, Metalheads, so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Lord Metalblade, and I will see you guys in the next video.